Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to this new video that people have been asking me for, or people have been asking me to do more content where I talk more about mediumship and mediumship development. And I've done some live, <clears throat> we've done some sitting in the powers here on the, on the channel. So I thought, well, I'll come over. There's a couple of questions that my students have asked me that I thought may be really helpful for you here on the channel. So I thought, well, I'll bring them to you, see what you think. I am doing this on Zoom, so I don't know how this will work with YouTube, but if it does, yeah. If not, then I'll have to relook at it and see how we go from there. But for those who do not know me, uh, if you've never come across me for the first time, then let me introduce myself. I'm Danielle, better known as Danielle Happy Medium. And on my YouTube channel, we cover all things spiritual, to mediumship development, to YouTube live. We we do quite a bit over here, I have to be honest. Um, I'm here to answer your questions to help your mediumship be easier. And in all honesty, mediumship is really easy. It's just us that makes it really complicated. So I thought I'd talk to you a little bit today about literal evidence. And this comes off the back of my new book that has just launched last week, which is What is Evidence in Mediumship? As I know that lots and lots of us are always striving for the best evidence that we can possibly get in our development for the spirit world. So what do I really mean about a literal, literal evidence? So for me, over the years of, of sharing knowledge with students and sharing knowledge here on the YouTube channel and in, in many a platform work that I do and also, you know, just across Facebook and other social media platforms that I'm in, literal evidence, there's a couple of different styles there. Literal basically means it is what it is. Literal is, it is ultimately that house. It literally is that bracelet. It isn't anything more than that. Now, what tends to happen with evidence is, is, is that we have to understand that some evidence is symbolic. Some evidence is literally as it is, literal. And what that means is it can be given and therefore it is as it says it is. It is what it says on the can. It does what it does. So how do you know the difference? How do you know something's literal? So the how we... <clears throat> excuse me. In order to understand what is literal evidence, it's about following the story. So following that intelligence and throughout us watching the communication or watching sort of what the spirit world has given us, the, probably the better way, I probably could show you the other side of it, then you'll probably understand a bit more about what I'm talking about. But basically what it means is, is by following the story, within that story there is what we call chunky pieces of evidence they're your literal pieces of evidence so they are what they say they are so for example let me give you an example john is a literal piece of evidence the only time it would become more evidence is when we're deeping in it to ask well who is john why why is john being spoke about what is john who is john where does john belong in the family you know that what we call deepening evidence. That's not symbolic evidence and that's not literal evidence. John is actually a literal piece of hard cold fact evidence. It can't be anything other than that. If we look at the symbolic side of things, now the symbolic side of mediumship or the symbolic side of evidence is potato. So a potato, well, yes, is a literal piece of evidence. It won't get you very far. So what I mean by this is John will get you somewhere. John is a strong piece of what we call literal evidence. Potato, on the other hand, is more symbolic. Now, again, in order to be able to do the pair of them, you've got to be able to be monitoring the story or you've got to be monitoring what you're seeing. And when we would get a potato or if we get a car or if we get a colour or something like that, normally what this means is it, you have to open this up. You have to sort of... Within my book, I talk about this a little bit more. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think we've got an awful cough since I've come on here, or a frog in my throat. What, what it means is, 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 is that it has to be opened up. Now, what we do is we open it up in our mind. So we've got a potato. Oh, okay, well, that's not good enough. I can't really give that off because it's not really going to get me anywhere. More than likely, it's going to get me a no. So what you would do is, is you would go back to the spirit world and go, I need more on that. And what it would do is it would start to sort of pull apart the piece of evidence. Now, normally inside of there, you would then probably get a field, right? Now, the field is now starting to tell the story of the communicator. 
So we would probably write, okay, we've got a field potatoes. Okay, we've either got a fella here's a former, which is the literal piece of evidence, which is going to get you the yes, which is going to get you the job, which is the brackets of evidence of literal. Or it could be more of a memory of somebody working in the fields with their dad. Um, or it could be here in the UK, we have a particular holiday week in the October time, I do believe, which is called Tatey Picking Week, which is potato picking to me and you. Um, and it's a public holiday. It's like a week's holiday. It's when the farmers sort of bring in their harvests, you know, such like things. So that literal, that sort of storytelling, sort of symbolic piece of evidence has actually opened up into two or three nice, chunky, literal pieces of evidence that the sitter can take. Now, if this is important, and again, like I said, talking about them in your book, we talk about this quite a lot um, within the book about looking at the evidence and looking at how we are presenting evidence. And is evidence being presented to us symbolically or is it an actual literal piece of evidence? Another literal piece of evidence could be the actual pattern. So, for example, um, John told me path of cancer. Cancer is a literal piece of evidence. We then deepen it to get more. So what I mean by that is we'll then get the area in which that, that cancer was, which would then give it weight, if I could say that. When it comes to symbolic stuff, we have to be more in, we have to be more pronounced we have to learn to open them pieces up we have to be able to explore that more literal work doesn't really need more exploring it needs more deepening so symbolic needs more exploring literal needs deepening these are the two different sort of styles here as you do your mediumship quite early on you'll have a lot of symbolic work some people will do literal um, but as your mediumship progresses, you'll start to do more literal work, if I could say that. Now, you can mix the two together. One is perfectly fine. Symbolic works really good as long as you're prepared to open that up. And it's OK to do lots of literal stuff as long as you're prepared to deepen it. And it's OK to do them together as long as you open them up and you deepen them. Either No, no one way is right. No one way is wrong with when it comes to evidence. What's important with evidence is, is, is that it holds weight, it's got potential, it's got places it goes, it can be, you know, moved into something far bigger than, you know, just the potato or just the name of John. It's important as mediums that we're constantly striving to open pieces of evidence up or to sort of you know, make sure that that work is being deepened. Now, when we open it up inside of our mind, we can use the statements. And I was with some of my students in the last few weeks. It's important that you look at the kinds of statements that you're using to the spirit world. So when you're trying to get more from a literal piece of evidence, use the statements like, um, they're now giving me, um, I'm now being made away, um, that I'm now being... Um, this feeling's been put across me. Now that what that's doing is, is 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 we're not being specific about how we want that piece of literal evidence, uh, sorry, symbolic evidence to open up. We're allowing the spirit world a little bit more generalization to drop the next piece in so that we can get it. Given to, it seems to work very well with my students, the spirit world's now giving me, um, dad's now giving me, dad's now making me aware that they're very popular statements with my students and tend to help them get more information so that they can sort of, you know, get more from that literal piece of, sorry, symbolic piece of evidence. Symbolic stuff, how do you recognise it? It's very plain. It, there's not a lot of substance to it. It's very broad spectrum. People could say, even say it's generalized, which we hear quite a lot when we hear people talk about mediumship. Generalized pieces of information are normally symbolic. And actually what we are meant to do is look to explore that more so that we can get more of the literal, like the names, the ages, the patterns, you know, all of them things, the unique story of the communicate, the personality, the quirks, the things that make the communicators come to life, which is very important. You know, the little stuff, names and stuff are very good. But try and get them unique pieces. Try and get stuff that, you know, are a little bit sort of, um, you know what brings that communicator to life I think it's a very important aspect to understand when we're doing logical pieces of evidence that we don't become too harsh with that we always want to keep with the communicator and want to keep with the 
style of the communicator. So for me, logical evidence and symbolic evidence is something that I see a lot of students get caught up in. They don't realize, why, well, why am I not getting names? Like, why am I not getting this? Why am I not getting that? Because probably information has been given to you symbolically. It's not generalized. It just needs more experience exploring that's all what will tend to happen as well with some students they'll get a potato or a tomato here's another one that i've seen which is an exam an excellent example you'll get a tomato and you'll be like well what what, what does that mean like what, why, why have you given us a tomato but actually when you go well can i have can you give me some more on that it'll actually open up and be a greenhouse and actually in the greenhouse there'll be a gentleman actually sort of you know pottering on in there and that's the story that's the literal information that you're looking for hospital beds is another one which is again symbolic so symbolically it's not going to get you very far it's not strong enough to be a literal piece of evidence because it'd be classed as a generalized information but if you actually go can you give me more on that you could actually start looking around that room and your literal evidence will be in there which is your name what hospital was it that they were in what did they pass with Try this one out. Um, it's very, very helpful when you're learning. So if you're in rooms and you're training or you're on open circles or whatever, check these things out. But just because you get in a hospital bed, look, say, look, and that's more symbolic. Look more and say, right, what more can you give me in there? Like, what else is in there? That's it, like, a factual, that's, log that's logistically holding so that I can present that to the client which also will then limit the amount of no's you're getting and help you to establish more yeses or even maybes that can be changed into yeses. So try this one out. Let me know if your work's like this. I've got a couple more videos coming. This video shouldn't be hitting you till Wednesday of this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, it's the 13th today. Um, I will release a couple more on a Wednesday. I am back on live. At the beginning of June, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I hope this uploads to um YouTube. God only knows. We'll have a we'll have a go. We'll see what happens. Um, but have a great day wherever you are. Let me know how this works for you. Tell me if you like the content. Let me know if this is something that's up for you. If it is, I'll bring more of it to you. Um, and hopefully it'll all work out beautifully here. Ha have fun with your development, check out your symbolic stuff versus your literal stuff. Um, if you are getting already literal evidence, then make sure you're deepening that. Make sure you say, well, right, can I know who John is? Where does John belong? If you get in the hospital, then you want to be knowing the story before the hospital and after the hospital so that you can get bigger, deeper pieces of evidence there to back up the literal piece that you have. Good luck. Have fun with it. And uh, I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye for now.